Tonight, newly released dash camera video shows the takedown and arrest of a Northwestern student. The PhD candidate says police used excessive force. CBS 2's Audrina Bigas is live in the newsroom with this original report. Audrina, he's now suing Evanston. That's right, Erica. That student has filed a lawsuit, and an alderman in Evanston who is running for mayor claims video of the incident highlights a bigger problem within the Evanston Police Department. We looked into that claim. I think this person is still following me now. You're looking at two different videos, police dash cam and also this man's video. Northwestern student Lawrence Crosby, he's the one talking. So then pull me over, here you go. In October 2015, Crosby steps out of the car with his hands up. Hands up, hands up. He's taken down by Evanston officers, struck multiple times, and he says he was kicked. Where did this go wrong in your eyes? Police failed to follow their own regulations. Crosby's attorney says although the traffic stop was justified, nothing else was. If I was trying to steal, break into the car, man. Someone did call 911 saying just that, but it's actually his car registered in his name. They took him to the station and charged him with two criminal offenses, for which Lawrence had to stand trial and was acquitted. Now, Crosby is suing the city of Evanston and three police officers, claiming false arrest and excessive force. I would suggest that police could have handled the stop considerably better. This from Evanston's mayor, and here's the alderman who pushed for the release of the video. We need to do something about this issue in the city of Evanston, the de-escalation of the use of force by police officers, and we haven't actually, this video shows one of the most outrageous uh, acts that I've seen from our officers so far. We checked and there were 17 citizen complaints again against Evanston police in 2016. That's out of about 77,000 calls for service. Tonight, Evanston police tell us the force used in that video was in compliance and all the officers are on full duty. Live in the newsroom, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Audrina, thank you.